Let's get to read on uh, things and where they're going or maybe not going from Ohio Republican Congressman Jim Jordan. Congressman, welcome to you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, uh, Neil. Uh, good to be with you. Same here. Uh, is it your sense that this could drag on a while? Well, I, I mean, look, Democrats are more focused on stopping the president than they are on helping the country. And frankly, until that changes, I think it's difficult to get to, uh, to, get to a solution, as the vice president said. Uh, the solution is real simple. Democrats should support what they've supported before, which is funding for a border security wall. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they want to go there. So we'll see. Right. Um, I know it's all over dollars and how much and whether we even call it a wall. Is it your sense that it is over dollars, though? Not so much whether they call it a wall. And uh, if it is over dollars, and well, the $5 billion really represents just a down, continuing down payment on something that's going to be $25 billion, where, where is this going? Well, I don't, I don't know if that's accurate, Neil. I mean, remember what they've said. Nancy Pelosi said a wall is immoral, which I think is an amazing statement. And so if a wall is immoral, then where's the legislation being introduced by the Democrats to take down the wall between Tijuana and San Diego? So, I mean, so I think it is the term in some, in some regards, at least with the Democrats. Uh, and, of course, it is some about the money. But this is just common sense. And the president said it today in his, in his press event. Uh, he said, look, we're going to do what he's told the American people he's going to do, and he's going to stand firm for that. And I think that's exactly the right position. We just got to keep making the argument, and the American people have to keep speaking up in support of it. I think that's when we ultimately get the Democrats to do the right thing. The president seems to be saying in the name of national security, he can do this on his own. Can he? I think he can, uh, but I think that'll get challenged in court. That's why we think this is the better approach to actually appropriate dollars to build a border security wall like we all promised the American people we were going to do when we ran for the job. This is simply doing what we said. If you want to deal with the gang problem, you want to deal with the drug problem, you want to deal with the human trafficking problem, build a border security wall on the southern border like we all promised and like Democrats have supported in the past, but now some for some... If you, if you need no other evidence... Look to what happened yesterday, that they are more concerned about stopping the president than helping the country. Brad Sherman files articles of impeachment on the very first day. Representative Tlaib makes her disgraceful comments last night about the president. That shows where they're at. That's not for the good of the country. The wall is. So let's get back focused on what helps this, what helps this great nation. Um, let's talk a little bit about the, the, the China potential trade deal that could happen next week and China of course, itself is going through a slowdown. Some are worried about even we get a trade deal that they might not be able to follow through on, on commitments anyway. But we got a reminder as well that our economy is doing just fine. Uh, Whatever is plaguing them isn't plaguing us. Uh, do you think that that distinction has been made? No, I, I mean, uh, how good our economy is doing? I, I certainly don't think the Democrats get it. Again, 312,000 jobs added last month, and one of the Democrats' first two things they do, they pass a rules package that looks to raise taxes, they introduce impeachment resolution, and you have a new me uh, member of Congress from Michigan say the disgraceful, terrible things she said about the president. So I don't think they understand what this... Think about this president. Taxes cut, regulations reduced, economy growing at an unprecedented rate, 312,000 jobs last week, lowest unemployment in 50 years, Gorsuch and Kavanaugh on the court, out of the Iran deal, embassy in Jerusalem, hostages home from North Korea, new NAFTA agreement, and what are Democrats focused on? Impeaching the president and saying the ter terrible things that they said yesterday. So that's the fundamental problem. We can come to a solution, we can work together if they're willing to focus on the country and not President Trump. Um, I don't want to hit your blind side with this, Congressman, but we're just getting reports now that the Mueller investigation grand jury has reportedly been extended some six months. So at least six more months of this. What do you six think? more yeah, six more months, and they'll continue to try to find something. They haven't found anything there. Six more months. To, to, the, the whole premise of this was to show that there was some, or find out if there was some type of coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia to impact the election. To date, after a year and a half, not one bit of evidence, and now we're going to extend it six more months. I haven't he heard what they're doing exactly, but right. um, look, I hope this thing winds up pretty soon so we can, as I said, get focused on the things that are actually going to help the country. All right. Uh, thank you, uh, Congressman, for your patience on that. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. There is a new Congress here in Washington, but the government shutdown continues as before. The stalemate over border wall funding entered its third week. Each side is betting the other will give in first. Negotiations continue at the White House today, but apparently they bore no fruit because afterward the president emerged to say the situation on our southern border is so grave he may be forced to build a wall without congressional approval. 
Have you considered using emergency powers to grant yourself authorities to build this wall without congressional approval? And second, yes, on I Mexico, have. you have. Yes, I have. And, and I can do it if I want. So you don't need congressional approval to build the no, wall? No, we can use them. Absolutely. We can call a national emergency because of the security of our country. Absolutely. No, we can do it. I haven't done it. I may do it. I may do it. But we can call a national emergency and build it very quickly. Well, Democrats call that extremism. But who are the extremists here? Well, the ones who refuse to defend their country. The new Speaker of the House has announced that the Democratic Congress will never, under any circumstances, allocate a single tax dollar to build the border wall. Not because it's too expensive, obviously these are the Democrats, but because a wall would violate some previously unknown and never explained moral code. Watch. The fact the is, a, a wall is an immorality. It's not who we are as a nation. It's an old way of thinking. Well, it's tempting to assume that the speaker must have misspoken there, but it's hardly the first time she has said that. Immoral. Immorality. She's used those words repeatedly. Now, Pelosi is the highest ranking Democrat in the United States. She's the leader of her party, so we should not blow this off. We should take it seriously. As a matter of policy, Democrats believe a border wall is immoral. And that raises the question, what do they consider moral? Well, American troops stuck forever in Syria, for one thing, that's just fine. Sex-selective abortions paid for with tax dollars, can't get more moral than that. Antifa rioting in the streets, all perfectly virtuous. And it turns out even walls can be moral under the right circumstances, they just can't protect America. Democrats gladly signed off on border defenses for Jordan, Tunisia, and Israel, no problem. Glad to do it. But here, on behalf of our own people, no, Americans don't deserve that. They're immoral for asking. Those are the parameters of their morality. So what religion is this exactly? Joining us now to explain is Archbishop Chris Hahn. He's an attorney, radio host, and former aide to Senator Chuck Schumer, and he joins us tonight. <clears throat> so if you would, I, I think we've talked about this before, Nancy Pelosi has repeatedly called the wall immoral. And at first I thought, well, you know, she talks a lot, and I know the feeling, sometimes you misspeak. But this is a talking point. This is something she's saying intentionally as the leader, now officially, of your party. So Democrats believe border walls are immoral. What does that mean? I don't think she means it in the good versus evil type of morality, but rather this is a colossal waste of money since there's never been a ladder and a rope that hasn't beaten a wall. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, to I'm, I'm going to let you the, finish. I will let you finish, but I just want to back up. I promise. I'm not, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I just want to back up. Yo. What other sense of immoral is there? I mean, by definition, immoral describes something that is not moral. It is Again, by definition, within the scheme of morality, it's a religious precept. So what does that mean? I, I, How is the wall immoral? I don't, I, 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 look, I mean, I don't think she means it in a good versus evil religious way. I think she means what it in other a, way is there? this is colossally stupid. This is a colossally stupid thing to build when a guy with a ladder that's a foot taller and a rope to get down the other side no. will beat it. With and quite respect, frankly, no, you're, to you're borrow the NR... Okay. Keep, to borrow the NRA's argument, though, if we put a wall up to block out illegal, you know, people from, who come here to want to harm us, people who want to come here illegally are the only ones who are going to be stopped by that wall because people who are going to come here illegally or come here to harm us are going to figure a way around it, just like they figure out a way to get guns. They're so gonna it's, get, it's oh, a, so they're going to get their that, own wall. Oh, I, I, think I, I think I'm following you. So they're going to get their own wall. They're going to buy a wall in the black market and bring their wall to our wall and beat it? Is that what you're saying, just to continue the metaphor? No, no. Law-abiding people will be stopped by the wall, but the people who wish to break our laws will be uh, will avoid the wall. Like is they that do true? Every, like, that's the is right that, argument for is everything. That true at for, that's the right wait, argument for guns. It's the right, it, should be, it should be accepted here, okay, too. Okay. I'm trying to take you seriously. Is that also true at prisons, which are surrounded by walls? Walls meant to keep lawbreakers in? Do they not work? So... You know, a prison is is a couple of acres, and you've got sentries pointed that can 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 monitor that wall. The president's talking about thousands of miles of wall. Are we going to have sentries every hundred yard, every hundred feet to watch know, that wait. wall? Look, we'd be better off, Tucker. We'd be better off with modern technology. We'd use drones. We could use other things to monitor the border, make sure it's but, but, backed up by the appropriate but, but amount of border look, patrol. I'm, then look, I'm trying up to be. I'm trying to be reasonable. Not I mean, make sense. We we both know that you're in favor of more people coming here illegally and I'm not, and that's the actual debate. But for the purposes of, we're pretending, I'm not in favor of anybody we're all pretending coming we're here both illegally. for border security. Of course we're not. 
But I just want to drill down a little bit on this idea of morality because I think it's really important when the leader of a political party starts calling the other side immoral, that's not a small thing. So I just want to understand, in the very same day that she said that, she pushed to allow taxpayer dollars from the United States to go abroad to fund abortions in Latin America, among other places. So you're saying it's immoral to keep Latin America out with a wall, but it's not immoral to pay for Latin American abortions? That's what Nancy Pelosi is saying. Do you agree with that? Well, look, you know, I think we would need like an, a, a couple of hours to discuss no, about, the morality how about just a, of how about just an like, answer? I mean, of, just of, the two of them. Of choice. Which, which is more immoral, I'm, building I'm, a wall or using I'm tax not dollars put, to pay for I, abortions I, in other countries? I'm just wondering. I, I, I'm not going to. First of all, tax dollars do not pay for abortions in other countries right. under and the Hyde Amendment, that. which we the, all the, know no, about. No, that, so okay. they will never they will never go that way. Right. But I, I mean, debating whether or not that's moral, immoral, that's a longer conversation. We probably got about a minute and a half left. I'm wondering which, which, no, hold on, let's just, I'm not asking you to conduct theology here. I'm just asking you to yeah. give me your view. If the two things, taxpayer money for sex-selective abortions, which Nancy Pelosi is for, okay, or building a wall. One's immoral. Which one is I, I, it? I don't believe. I, I don't believe that she's for uh, sex-selective abortions yes, in foreign is. countries. Yes, I think is. that's that a, is an overreach no, of what she's in, for. In, and in and look, fact, I, I think the more moral use of the funding for the wall would be to fix the bridges and roads that are crumbling in this country that okay. actually need repair. And spend a couple okay. of bucks on ring video doorbells for border security so can if I you're really not worried sincere, about it. Because it's really question. not as big of a problem as the president. It's not What's as big immoral a problem. is the president right. making a problem that doesn't exist. Okay. So, really quick. At the very same time, again, that she was pushing against America's ability to defend itself and its borders and for more taxpayer-funded abortions in other countries, she was also yep. pushing for more foreign aid for other countries, some of which would go to border security. We've already funded, with her approval, border security, including walls in a bunch of other countries. Why were those not immoral, but our wall is immoral? Well, you know, when we talk about the Israeli wall and other countries that have walls like that, they are in a constant state of war with their neighbor. We are not no. in a state of no. war no, no, with no, no, Mexico. We no, are no, not no, having no, a no, crisis no, at the border. No, People no, are not no. lobbing bombs into no, our no, country hold on, hold on. Uh, no, no. From, from Mexico. Well, the, in fact, they're, they're our biggest of, trading partner. Right. I, I understand that. And there are a number of barriers in Israel, and some of them are designed to keep terrorists from coming in, and I don't think anyone would question the right to do that. Good for them. Right. But there's also a barrier on the southern border of Israel with Egypt that is designed solely to keep immigrants from Africa out of their country. Now, I think it's Israel's right to build that wall. I would never contest that. I don't have a problem with it. But Nancy Pelosi doesn't have a problem with it either. That wall's not immoral. But our wall is immoral. <laughs> I, do, I honestly don't understand that. What is the answer? You know, we're, we're a nation of immigrants. It's what makes this country great. It's what refreshes this country and gives us competitive edge with the rest of the world. If the president and his party want to change that, that should be what they talk about. But what they're doing there, right now is demagoguing about some well, invisible no, threat that does not exist at the southern border. Oh, oh, so and it's time for them to so stop many, and face reality and many, open the government and have a conversation about real border people, security. How many people are here illegally now in the United States? Do you know? I, I would think over 10 million over Between 10, 10 and try, 14 try, million. Try over 20, which is the latest estimate, and not from some right-wing organization, but from Ivy League researchers. Does that seem like a lot? Does that seem like the current border security schemes are working to you? Over 20 million people? It seems like a lot. And, and yeah. it seems like a lot. And 90% and, and of those people, Tucker, did not cross the southern border. They How do you overstayed know that? a visa. How do you know? They may Look, have come wait, here on a plane or a boat. Wait, that's How what do you this, know that? You don't even know within 10 every, million how many every, are here. Every, <laughs> so how do you know how they sorry, got here? Because e I, I wasn't prepared for that question, but every well, Ivy League like study that question. I've read shows every Ivy League study that I've read about this uh -huh. topic says that exact same thing, that most people who are here illegally have just overstayed their visas. And building oh. a wall at the southern border is not going to change that. It's just a colossal well, waste even of money. We don't and if you believe a waste of money is immoral, are, then it's or immoral. How they got here, we're just guessing it's not going to work. Okay, maybe you're right. We'll see. Chris, thank you very much. All right.